Hi, I'm James with OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to show you the Nest Humidifier Wiring Diagram. So if you've got a Nest thermostat and you want to connect your humidifier, or you're building a new home, or you just want to know how to get your Nest to work with a humidifier, or even a dehumidifier, this will work with a dehumidifier too, uh, this is going to show you the wiring diagram for the Nest thermostat and a humidifier. So what we've got here is a traditional humidistat wiring diagram and the Nest humidifier wiring diagram. And I'm just going to spend a little bit of time telling you about how a Nest, or sorry, how a normal uh, traditional humidifier is wired to humidistat and how it works. And then we'll get over to how the Nest and a humidifier work. So uh, you've got your HVAC system here. I drew all this out. You've got your humidifier. That's this little block here. And how a humidifier works is that uh, usually it's powered by 120 volts. It's got a little plug that plugs into a outlet near your uh, HVAC system. And that runs the fan on the humidifier if it's forced air or can power some of the other devices and things inside the humidifier. But it is activated by low voltage, 24 volts, uh, typically from a humidistat or from your existing thermostat. And how that works is uh, inside of your HVAC system, you've got a terminal block. There's all kinds of terminals in there. Uh, but the only ones that you need to know about for the uh, humidistat humidifier are R and C. And sometimes there is a humidifier, a humidistat terminal on there, but you don't have to use that because every furnace has an R and a C. So even if you've got it on that humidifier wire, uh, you can kind of ignore that because really what we're what ultimately what we need is a path for current to go through the humidifier. Uh, from the thermostat and to the C wire. So uh, you don't need to have that H terminal inside of here. It's really irrelevant other than there's a wire that you can use there in the next step that we're gonna get to. But how it works is that you've got power. R is a universal power on HVAC systems. It's providing power to the humidifier. And uh, there's a little valve or solenoid here that typically activates uh, water or will tell the fan to turn on on the humidifier. And the power goes uh, through the humidifier and to the humidistat, which controls the humidity. And all this is is an open closed switch, uh, really. When the humidity is too low and you've got the humidifier set higher, it's going to close that switch, create a circuit. So you'll have power going through the humidifier, down through the humidistat, and back to a C terminal. It creates a full circuit here. And when the humidity is uh, too high, I guess, uh, and your humidistat is set lower, the switch is open and there's no power going here because this is open. It's, it's not closed. So that is kind of how a humidistat and humidifier works. You got to complete the circuit. Power going through the humidifier, uh, usually a solenoid valve or a little valve here, a relay, going through the humidistat and then back down a return path for the C. So if it can't get to this return path, the humidifier won't activate. And this is the switch that controls that return path, the humidistat. Now the Nest works a little bit different because the Nest thermostat always has power going to it because it has to charge itself and because it's got to turn on other things like your fan, like your heating and cooling. So uh, what you've got for a Nest, just typical wiring, you're gonna have W1, which is your heat wire, Y1, which is your AC wire, G, which is your fan wire, and R, which is the power wire. Those are just all in dotted lines because they're kind of irrelevant to how the, the humidistat, uh, humidifier works with a Nest, but those are what power your Nest and allow it to turn on and off. Uh, the R wire is technically the power, but all these other ones are just needed for your thermostat to function. Then what you've got is a star terminal on your Nest thermostat. And that star terminal is for accessories like a humidifier or dehumidifier. And that star terminal, when you've got it connected to a humidifier and you've got it in that setting, the star terminal, when it detects humidity is too low and you wanna raise it, right? So you've got it set to 60% humidity and the humidity inside your house is 35. It's going to send a power signal to get that humidifier up to 60% or 65% humidity. So what happens is a switch inside the nest closes and it shoots power down through this star terminal, which I just 
erased with my hand, but imagine it's there, down through the star terminal, through the humidifier, and then on the other side of the humidifier, you need to have it connected to a C wire. And what that does is it creates a circuit where the 24 volts from the thermostat will be sent through the humidifier to activate the humidifier, and it's got a return path to the circuit board on the C of the uh, HVAC system. So what you need is not two wires for a humidifier with a nest. You only need one wire, and what you have to do is create a circuit where power from this star terminal will go through the humidifier and back to the C wire. That is what you have to do. So a lot of times the easiest way to do that is if you've got, they're all gonna be wired up slightly different, but you're always gonna have typically two wires for your existing humidistat. So if it's wired up like it's shown here, right? What you're gonna do is just take your R wire, take it off this terminal, put it on the C terminal, and then make sure you trace the R wire over here up at the top of your humidistat the same color, and you're just gonna put it in to your star terminal on the nest, and that is gonna create this circuit for you across a humidifier. The, the key is that you have to think about it as creating a circuit from R to the star wire, and from the star wire back through your humidifier into the C. The C is like a neutral, or it's, it's called the common terminal, but it's essentially a neutral wire for uh, HVAC systems and thermostat systems. It allows a return path for current, whatever accessories you've got hooked up there for charging the nest, and it won't activate anything on the circuit control board when uh, electricity goes to it to the C wire. It'll activate something in line like a humidifier or a dehumidifier, but it won't actually activate anything in the HVAC system because it's essentially uh, similar to a neutral wire, and that is how it works. So take a look at these wiring diagrams. This is the Nest humidifier. We've got the wire that you need in black and the other ones in red dotted lines for how the thermostat would be connected. And this is a typical humidifier wiring diagram and the Nest humidifier wiring diagram. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please leave any comments below if you've got questions on how this works or you want some more clarification. And you can support us by clicking on any of the links below uh, or visit us our website at onehoursmarthome.com. We've got all kinds of great stuff for you on smart home automation, general home maintenance, and uh, just living, taking care of your home and how you can use technology to make it better. Thank you.